so good morning everyone welcome to my channel space remote sensing and gis and i am very much thank you thankful to all of you <laughs> to give a lot of love in the last video which we just posted so uh, that is a uh, uh, kind of a small r and d we did so and before the last three video if you if you if you observe then that is actually the one uh, learning process of that total steps and uh, the last video is basically the applications so uh, like that means i will try to explain you like this way some i will going to show you on the tool base some i will going to show you with the case studies base so then it will uh, give you the full understanding about how we uh, should apply uh, this technique okay the using the arcgis pro a proper technique to extract a lot of informations so for that you have to understand the small small tools so like that there is one very interesting tool and that is a very interesting uh, steps we usually we applied over the raster image that is raster resampling techniques so here we are going to discuss about raster data resampling techniques so why we are doing that so some cases if you have suppose the high resolution image and uh, some past image of the satellite image you have some suppose which one is the coarse resolution image so in that case uh, uh, what we need to do we need to do the resampling so that my both pixel size of the both things uh, should come uh, same then only uh, we can compare uh, this two different types of data sets okay uh, together in a one particular place and whatever the statistical analysis i will going to calculate as the pixel size will be the same so we can we can uh, compare these two so resampling is a context or you can say raster grid which is involves to adjusting the cell size okay so either making it a larger or upsizing it or a smaller you can say the downsizing it both we can do it there so to illustrate this concept uh, the considering the changes of the pixels uh, resolutions we will going to see from uh, 5 meter to 10 meter or you can do or you can say the 2 meter to the 5 meter whatever you want we usually do that so which is clear example of the resampling so today we are actually uh, going to explore the process uh, of the resampling of the raster data sets inside arcgis pro okay so uh, let's go back to the map so if you see this is my map which i already have one data worldview data sets will be there okay so if you just go to the property of this map go to the raster information see what will be the cell size it is showing is a two meter okay so i want to do the resample of this particular uh, map okay so our map is actually displaying uh, it's it's kind of a horizon satellite image which is uh, two meter okay but uh, what if we desire to decrease the cell size okay from one meter i uh, sorry from two meter to five meter if i want to take it so how can we accomplish that so that is our objective okay so the solutions lies in the utilizations of this resample tools okay let's give it a try and we understand about this particular tool okay so for this you need to go to the analysis click on the toolbox under the uh, geoprocessing, you just need to type resample. You see the resample data management tool will come. So select it. Okay. Click the input data. So input raster, obviously, you should give your these data sets. Okay. So whatever you're having. Now the output cell raster. So this we have to mention what we want. Suppose I want the 5 meter by 5 meter pixel size. So that only I'm just going to create. So there is a uh, several techniques which is available. Okay, the resample techniques you see in nearest neighbor, bilinear, and cubic and majority. Okay. So uh what we we need to apply any one of this statistical approach, okay, it's to get a better industry. So up to this point, everything is as you can say the relatively straightforward, how we have the pivot decisions, the choosing the resample techniques, considering the following guidelines. So we have the four techniques as you see here, nearest neighbor. Okay, we have the nearest neighbor. So uh, how we can apply nearest neighbor? Nearest neighbor is actually, uh, you can say it is a preferred choice for discrete the data, like the land cover and classifications, we usually use the nearest neighbor. Next is the bilinear, when we are using that. So bilinear is an interpolation. It is a typically suitable for the continuous data, such as the temperature or elevation data sets. You can go with the bilinear. 
Next one is the majority techniques. Uh, you can say retain the most popular value, which is useful for the data like land cover. Okay, so that is what we can go for the majority technique. Then last one is the cubic convolutions is actually effective reducing the noise from the data, making a valuable, um, uh, make, making it a valuable for the noise images when we are having that such as the radar data sets, if you are doing the classifications, then uh, usually we can go for this uh, type of cubic convolution process. Okay, so anyway, in our specific scenario, I have uh, uh, opted with this, uh, you can say bilinear interpolations also you can take. Okay, so we are working with this imagery. Okay, basically, so nothing less, this is a choice which you can set as you stone, whatever you want. Okay, if I, uh, if you believe that another techniques would be the more appropriate, please, uh, you can share with your thought also. Okay, so as of now, I'm going to, I tried with the two, one is the nearest number when I, I just tried with that, that is also coming good result. Let's try with the bilinear and then otherwise if it's not coming good, then we can, I will show you again with the nearest number. Okay, so that is uh, both options will be there. So let's run it and uh, let's wait for the results. And see this, uh, my, it is completed. And now you see, if you compare this one to this one, your pixel size is actually degraded, okay. So how we will compare it? So there's a two process. Okay, first is you can go to right click, go to the property. Okay, so the raster informations, you see my cell size now, five by five. Okay, that is how it is the first way to check the validations. Next, you can do the uh, validations by the measurements. Okay, so you can zoom to a pixel level. Okay, and come to the map. You have the measurement tools. Okay, simply measure the pixel size. I see it is almost uh, five meter only. Okay, it's a five meter. So that is a one process. And if you are comparing with the last one, so you just see measure at this again with the measurement tool. And see it is uh, near to the two meter. Okay, so this is near to the two meter how nicely it is matched exactly with the value. Okay, so this is the process of resampling techniques. I hope now, uh, so many people are as asking these questions, okay, for their land is 11 classifications, they have old map of land set of their area and the present map, which is the Sentinel. Okay, they want to make a uh, two map in the same platform. So either you can go with 50 to 30, 30 to 50. So I will suggest always go to 50 to 30 meter resolutions. Okay, then your uh, quality of data will preserve. Okay, that means whatever the Sentinel resolution is 15 meter you have, you just come to that resolution to the 30 meter Landsat resolutions. Okay, then you can easily compare the two classifications together. So this is the process of uh, the, you can say the image resampling techniques. Okay, there you have it. So in our example, we uh, reduce the uh, image resolutions by increasing the cell size as you've seen here. So we hope uh, uh, you found this tutorial as informative. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Okay, for more GIS and remote sensing insights. So we we'll look forward to seeing you again. Okay, so goodbye for now and I will request uh, please subscribe okay, and share this video to a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you very much.